Okay. Hold the strings. All right. And off we go. All right. So it's James who's... James is the elder one. Yeah. He's at college. So he, he'll be in tomorrow. To your new mom. Hello. I'm Ben. Ben, I'm Patty. Oh, hi, nice I'm, to meet you. Please call me Patty. She has yes. come from the most incredibly far away distant place. Where do you think that might be? <laughs> no, think a little closer to home. I have no clue. San Francisco. <laughs> Mother, I'd rather... Mother. It was a shock when I found out that Patty was from just down the road in San Francisco. Yeah, come on through. All right. <laughs> yes. cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not particularly fond of the suburbs. Patty? Oh. Would you like a glass of champagne? I guess. I think we should crack one open. Yes, yeah. Patty seems just a little bit uptight, so we'll have a few drinks and we can let it all hang out. It's Californian! <laughs> <laughs> You ready? Uh -huh. Welcome to the Welsh shoes. <laughs> OK, nice don't sit outside. It's beautiful. I think we should just get sozzled. <laughs> you realise that most Americans think that all English are the, are the height of sophistication. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't, don't say words like that in front of me. <laughs> Concentrate on hedonism. So I'm going to lead you. I've got the leash and the and the collar. Oh, we'll just take you around. <laughs> oh my God! This is a very different family than my family, <laughs> but I wanted to go with the flow. It's California. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, certainly. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> OK, when you gobble that down, darling. How about you going to take me around? Take we, got the, we got the straps and the harness <laughs> upstairs. You're not naive. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Good. <laughs> All right, thank you. You OK? <laughs> Downstairs, Jeff was sitting at the dining room table and he was doing his work before the day even started, which I thought was very strange. So, Sheila. That's charming. <laughs> Paul and I are going to cut out now. Freddy? Daddy? Yes, honey. But just one thing I got to go upstairs. I got to put some product in the hair. Okay. Because that's a it's big product. Hi, Sheila. stayed in bed for an extra hour's sleep. She had several drinks last night, so I brought Patty a cup of tea. Tea time, Polska. Oh. How's my little girl today? Enjoy your tea. 
My first morning, I had a hangover. I don't do things like that. In fact, I feel embarrassed. Getting Patty drunk was a real success. I'm having a blast. When Jeff had taken the kids off to school, I really didn't know what to do with myself. would be coming. I hadn't given any thought to how one greets the hired help when they when they come to the door. If there's anything that you would like me to do, then I will do it. That's fine. Okay. That's okay. I felt like I should be doing something. So, like any Brit, I offered her a cup of tea. Because what else is there to do? Can I interest you in a cup of tea? It's the first time for everything. Yeah. <laughs> Patty is at my house. Oh, I yeah? I hope she's cleaning my house. <laughs> or it will be dirty when I get home. I do all my own cleaning, and now I have nothing to do. I don't know what to do, so I'm... <laughs> this is my third cup of tea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> at our house, we do everything ourselves. We don't support any kind of servant class. The Plonskas are pampered. They're the pampered Plonskas. Honey, I'm home. My job is to show Hattie the spirit of the Welsh family. To become a little more Welsh, you got to go through life with a great sense of fun. <laughs> so, this afternoon, we're going to see, and in my case, play in a rugby game on Treasure Island. Paddy? Are you ready? Well, there are a bunch of guys in shorts, so I think we're at the right place. quite used to seeing so many people on the verge of having uh, congestive heart failure. All I can see his head's getting kicked. Rugby's a violent activity. Hey, Bjorn, where the signals, eh? This is not a gentleman's game. Jeez. The Welsh men are not my cup of tea. It's going to be a rough week. really looking forward to a nice family meal with the Plumskas. Hello. Cindy! How are you doing? Yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> OK. Bye. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A friend of ours is coming over tonight, Cindy Seed. There might be a tad bit of pressure on Sheila. Cindy Seed happens to be an etiquette coach who has dined, you know, with diplomats and 
But heads of state. I want heads of state. I think I might have made that up, okay? But I like it. What do you cook for an etiquette coach? I don't know. How much time? There I was nervous about cooking for his guest. And Jeffrey was still working. It just doesn't seem fair. Hey, hello. Hey, how you doing? Wonderful in so many ways. How you doing? We're just doing what we can. I felt like I was the hired help. Well, then I'm going to go and... Hello. Tidy up. His computer was not connected. I should bring her down. Oh, she's not in the kitchen. I thought she'd no, be cooking no, away. I'm not quite sure what she's doing. But I... Oh. Okay. Well. Cindy! I'd like you to introduce you to, yes. to Sheila Welsh. Hi, Sheila. Nice to meet Cindy you. Cindy C. Thank Sheila you. Welsh. Ah. Perhaps she could retire to the living room. Okay. I'll follow you. Oh. So your your uh, your wine glasses are charged already. So here, welcome. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Welcome. Cheers. So I'm curious, how different is a home like this to the one you have? Not hugely different. Mm. your sense at the table? We don't eat at the table every night. Ah, oh, like most families. Perhaps she could retire to the dining room. Ah, yes. Instruction in dining practices do you try to drum into your kids? I'd say on average, kind of non. <laughs> <laughs> well, if there's any questions that you would like to ask, now's the time. <laughs> you, got, <laughs> you got me for a freebie night. <laughs> Like a fish knife. Kind of baffles me. Oh. So how how should I be holding my knife? It's usually like this, just because you people yes. have more of a strength mm -hmm. in their index finger to cut through meat oh, and so forth. Get to, we're so strong in England that we don't need to be way down the ah, to be able to cut. Okay. okay. I can't believe I just slaved over hot stove to make the dinner. I think maybe if you're an etiquette coach, then you really ought to know how to behave as a guest. Well, next time you should take my formal dining seminar. You get to sit through a nine-course formal European-style dinner. That sounds like fun. I have no idea how many bad things I did during that meal, and I really don't care. You don't want to walk Cindy to her okay, car to you make do sure that. she gets there safe. Thank you. Bye-bye. Like there are some things more important. Oh, I like treating people kindly. 